America, how we doing today? Um, thought I'd do a little quick video about how to uh, shift a 13 speed transmission since I've got one in my hands right now. Uh, 13 speed transmission, uh, they're in the uh, Eaton Fuller family of transmissions. Um, 9 speed, 13 speed, and 18 speed are all very, very similar transmissions. They have slight variances on each of them. Uh, the simplest way to explain this is uh, a regular transmission, a, a five-speed transmission in a car or four-speed transmission in a pickup or something like this, is an H pattern. Well, this has the same H pattern as that. Um, there, it's like a four-speed. Think of it like a five-speed. I'm sorry. Think of it like a five-speed, and you've got fur, uh, granny gear, and you got first, second, third, and fourth, okay? Um, on a nine-speed, you have four gears on the low transmission, slow side of the transmission, and you have four gears on the high side of the transmission. And no, that's not a twin, a, a, a two a, or two-speed rear axle either. Inside the transmission, you have four gears in the low low side, and you have four gears in the high side. High side. That's four plus four. It's eight plus the one granny gear. That's nine gears. That's a nine-speed. A thirteen-speed is very similar to that. It's got the four gears on the low and it's got the four gears on the high. But the, the high side, you can split each one of those four gears. So you've got four on the low, you've got four on the high, and you've got another four on the high. Then you can, you, know, you can split each of those in half. So that's four, four, and four. That's 12 plus the one granny gear. That's 13. That's why they call it a 13 speed. All right, that's what this one is. Uh, an 18 is almost the same got the four on the low side, they got four on the high side, but you can split all the gears in the low side and the high side. So you've got four on the low side that you can split in half, there's eight, and you got four on the high side that you can split in half, that's eight, so that's 16, no, yeah, uh, that's 16 gears, and then you have the two gears in double grannies, okay? So, um, I think that's right. <laughs> Four and four, and four and four, that's 16, plus the two granny gears. Yeah, they got two granny gears in the 18 speed. So, uh, with that said, um, we're going to take off, and I'm going to show you how the 13 speed works. Or I'm going to just shift through it. Also, I'm going to point out, uh, well, we got a whole line of, <laughs> I timed this wrong, didn't I? Got a whole line of traffic. Um, while I'm waiting for the traffic, I'll explain something else. Um, the um, the clutch. I let the clutch out in first gear, and I let the clutch out. I won't touch it again until I come back to a stop. Okay. What I do is what I call float, floating gears, or speed shifting, I guess. Uh, you're supposed to double clutch. Well, double clutch is so you can line the gears up. Well, floating is just letting the transmission line the gears up as the RPMs come down, and you time it to where they slide into gear. All right, so I'm going to come to a stop here, and there's a car way up there. I'm going to wait on them, too. Uh, normally, I just go, but because of this video, I'm going to wait and explain more. Okay, this is an, all the gears are internal. It's not like a five-speed with a two-speed trans uh, rear axle, okay? Um, this is all internal, nine-speed, 13-speed, and 18-speed. So, all right, with that... <laughs> Cars are taking a while. All right, we're going to go into first gear, okay? And I'm going to let the clutch out. Put the blinker on, of course. Let this truck pass. We're going to swing out here. Okay, first gear, second gear, third gear. No clutch. Okay, let the RPMs get. Fourth gear. All right, I'm going to go to high side. Okay, go up to fifth gear. Now I'm going to use the thumb switch on the side and just flip the, the, the throttle. Okay, that's now we're in sixth. I'm going to flip the thumb switch back and go back to the next gate. at seventh. I think. Am I wrong on that? Five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. There's eighth. Okay, you just use the thumb switch, and then once I flip the switch, I just lift the throttle ever so slightly and let it get out. Okay? Alright, so 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to flip the thumb switch back, go into the next gate. That's 9.
making any sense to you? <laughs> All right, we're going to flip the thumb switch, flip the throttle. That goes into temp. Okay, there's a little solenoid in there. And when you flip the, the thumb switch, it puts pressure on that solenoid. And when you flip the, the foot feet, it, it lightens the pressure on the gear and lets it slide into the next one. Okay, that's all automatically on the inside. You just got to tell it when to do it. Okay, we're going to come thumb switch back, back into the high, high gate. That's 11. Let our RPMs build up. And once our RPMs get up to where we want to shift into 13 or 12, we're in 12 forward gears plus the granny gear. That's 13 gears. All right, right there is 12th gear. Okay, high, high gear. All right, so in, I just know on this particular transmission, uh, 11th and 12th gear are overdrive gears. Okay, they're both, uh, if you want to go direct drive in this transmission, direct drive is up in 10th. That's a one to one ratio. 11th and 12th are both overdrives. How do I know that? I ordered this truck from the factory when it was new. So, um, with that, let me see. Tra downshifting is on pretty much the same thing, just in reverse. Okay, and instead of letting off the gas and letting the RPMs die down and get it into the next gear, you're letting off the gas, kicking it out of gear, revving it up slightly to get into the lower gear, because higher RPM into the lower gear. And then you use your jake or brakes or whatever to slow her down, and you downshift in that order. Okay? Basically, downshifting is the exact opposite of what we just went through. And didn't use the clutch at all, okay? Floated all the way through all of those. Left the clutch out on first gear, and then floated the rest of them. Anyway, if you found that interesting, uh, maybe you find some of my other videos interesting. I've got a, another a video just like this uh, explaining the 18 speed in my old truck. Uh, let's see, uh, it's eight, uh, how to shift an 18 speed transmission on the Saznak channel. So, with that, um, if you want to watch the channel, it's uh, uh, Saznak, and I just travel around. I'm a truck driver and I travel around the country. The channel's about my travels. My day-to-day -day experiences in a truck. So if you ever wondered what a truck driver goes through every day, follow along and you'll see. So anyway, with that, uh, y'all have a good one. Ciao.